Travel was super easy. The flight was seamless. We flew with Southwest. It was wonderful. Um, we picked up our rental car. I'm gonna show that to you guys. This is our rental. We decided to go with the big pickup truck so it can hold all of our luggage. And that worked out perfectly. But yeah, we ended up staying in Wheat Ridge, which is about 35 minutes from the airport, not too far. Um, and we're about to get some food. Today we have planned to get some food, like I just said. And then we're going to go to Walmart to get snacks and just anything we may be missing. Um, probably go to the liquor store. Later we have a tour at a dispensary and then we're also going to go to the Meow Wolf um, Convergence Station which is just like this really cool and like trippy museum. So I'm going to share that all with you and I hope you enjoyed the vlog. <laughs>
hey guys we are back at the house um we've had lots of fun today oh we're all super tired it's been a really really long day plus it's a two hour time difference so right now it's about 9 30 but our brains are thinking it's about 11 30 um so we're just about to reheat our pizza eat a little bit of that and get ready for bed tomorrow we have skiing super excited um we're all just winding down for bed it's like we're so tired like i'm looking crazy <laughs> but i will see you in the morning all right good morning everyone i'm so excited to go skiing we're going skiing at loveland ski area that is in dillian colorado i hope i pronounced that correct um it's about an hour away from our airbnb um, so we're about to stop at Starbucks. It's around 7.15. Um, our lesson starts at 10, but they want you to get there 60 to 90 minutes earlier than your lesson time so you can get your rentals and make sure everything is good um, before the class. I did want to share with you guys what I am wearing. Um, just so if you do plan to come to Colorado, you know exactly what to pack. Um, the high temperature is going to be 48 and the low is going to be 29. Uh, I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be cold or warm. Or I'm hoping I'll be hot uh, rather than cold. Uh, but underneath, you can kind of see it through my shirt. I have on a sports bra. Um, under this bodysuit, I'm wearing just like a spaghetti strap camisole. Then I have on this bodysuit with the thumb holes. I also um, plan on wearing a fleece half zip that is gonna be my middle layer and then I have a whole ski suit that I'm wearing on top of everything um for a base layer for my pants I have on a thermal base layer and just a pair of workout leggings usually my legs don't get super cold so I think I'll be good with just two layers and then for socks I just have on one pair of like regular socks but I brought an extra pair in case my feet get cold um and I have moon boots for shoes and uh, yeah, my whole ski outfit. So I can show you the whole get up later. Obviously, I have my gloves, my hat. Um, I brought some earmuffs. Those are mostly for um, fashion purposes, but I think um, they might be good if it's not too cold out there. And um, ski goggles. And I think that's about it. Um, if it's anything else, I will mention it a little later. But I'm so excited um, and I'll show you guys some mountain views and everything once we get out there. So right now we've just been coming up this belt to get this lesson in this little kind of gated off area. Um, just coming down, practicing slowing down and speeding up and how to move around and stuff. Um, but so far, my group seemed like we got it. But um, yeah, I think next they're gonna take us up on the lift. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, now I'm skiing backwards. <laughs> okay, I am at the top. I went down and I was scared. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get better footage of me going down this time because I can only catch my shadow. But I literally lost one of my poles. I dropped it when I was on the lift. So I have to go back and get that. We'll see how that turns out. Um, 
but huh, look at the view. It's just so pretty out here. Good morning everyone it is day three in Colorado we are currently in Frasier um, earlier we stopped to get some breakfast before coming out it was about an hour and a half drive from um, our Airbnb but we're doing our snowmobiling tour it's gonna be with Grand Adventures and uh, we chose the trailblazer tour it's for two hours and it's guided um, after that we plan on going to the Frazier tubing hill to do about an hour and a half of tubing and I'm super excited for that so I'm gonna take you all along for the ride and hopefully we have lots of fun So we stopped here at the little drop-off point behind me. You can see the Continental Divide. Oh, the most gorgeous views, oh my gosh. It's actually super hot, like this coat is too much um, or I would just not wear any layers for real, something thin under it if I was gonna do this again during this time. It's about 50 degrees today, so. Oh. Check in with y'all.
Good afternoon, guys. We are right here at uh, Five Points Plaza. We just had brunch at Mimosa's. It was really good. Um, we are getting ready to just kill some time before it's time for us to head to the airport. It is our very last day here in Denver. Um, it's been so much fun. I'm very much looking forward to getting back home though. My sleep schedule has been trash and I am exhausted. I did not know, you know, I'm missing a nail, eyelashes coming off, lace lifting. It's time to go home. <laughs> but I'll check in with y'all and uh, hopefully we get to do something cool before we um, head back to Baltimore.